हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय थर्टी डे चैलेंज टू इंक्रीज माय ईएलओ रेटिंग बाय हंड्रेड पॉइंट्स सो इन पास्ट फ्यू डेज आई एम नॉट बीन एबल टू मेक एनी वीडियोस लाइक प्लेइंग गेम्स ऑनलाइन एंड यू नो रिकॉर्ड गेम्स बट एंड इज बिकॉज आई वाज प्लेइंग टूर्नामेंट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड आई हैव रिसीव माई Fide uh, Fide ID, so um, that was a good experience. So now I'm back, and uh, I must continue my challenge. So we only finished uh, six games for six days, and this is the seventh day. And in the seventh day, I'm going to play a game, and uh, my current rating shows one one eight one, which I want to increase to twelve fifty or maybe twelve hundred. um so um i will i will play the game for 30 days and see at the end of 30 days see how, what my rating is okay uh, how i have been practicing and how I'm doing like uh, improving my game so let's uh, start to play and by the way i am playing a, a rapid game for 10 minutes so that i can share my thoughts in between like what opponent is moving and what kind of move i am making why i am making this move and, and everything okay so let's start the game now okay let's see who is okay so i got white so i today i'll play english opening and uh, start with c4 let's see what opponent plays okay so he is trying to exchange Okay, we can exchange side pawn with the central one, so there is no problem. I can ex exchange it, and uh, now if I bring my uh, knight, uh, which is typical English opening, then he will lose the tempo because he has to go back. Okay, so that is that was nice. It uh, turned out to be helpful for me because he his one move is wasted. so now g3 uh, because i want to like uh, put my bishop on g2 and uh, uh, and this is typical english opening okay so there is a problem that if i put my knight on f3 then this pawn will come up so before doing uh, that knight putting my knight on f3 i have to move this pawn uh, d d3 because that will serve two purpose first uh, this knight on f6 will not come on uh, will not attack on anyway it will not come but it will uh, i expect it not to come on e4 cuz i need that square so let me push d3 and that square is blocked <coughs> so my goal is to quickly castle and uh, develop all my pieces without moving anything strange okay he don't want my bishop to come there that's fine now i'll put my knight to f3 now he is having as a bishop open the white bishop has a long diagonal so which may come to g4 to attack my uh, attack my uh knight but knight is guarded by e2 so i have not in to worry but only thing i'm worried is this knight will come to e4 and cause problem so i'll push this pawn also even though it block my dark squared bishop that doesn't matter i will move it anyway so e3 so i don't want this knight to come to e4 d4 square because that will become an outpost for him and will cause many problems see that uh, you want to exchange it and destroy my pawn structure so better so i am not too worried about it it's waste of time so i'll just castle and secure my uh, my queen he also castles now 
and guard my pawn structure because if he takes uh, bishop takes knight that means i have to take with the b pawn to destroy my pawn structure okay what to do next next i'll kick this bishop or he may take my uh, knight uh, whichever is applicable okay let him take it no problem okay he doesn't go away so i have the opportunity to push my pawn okay so always pushing pawn is not bad uh, if we have uh, we'll gain some space and uh, anyway his bishop is uh, inactive it's not pointing to any useful thing so uh, that is the matter what can i do here if i come to d5 that means his knight will take mine so that will be a problem if i push my pawn to uh, d4 that means pawn takes then bishop uh, then this pawn takes how many attackers 1 2 3 attackers and i have only 1 2 so that is not going to work if i push this one so my bishop will be free it will be now it is a bad bishop because it has nothing to do so i push this he may bring this uh, knight here so to exchange the knight then pawn comes here and block the bishop so it is okay i'll simply move to e4 so even though the bishop pawn comes to d4 after exchange with the knight his pawn will stay there and will be blocking will not be attacking my king so it is kind of good his own pawn will block it so bishop will remain inactive only okay queen comes here my queen is here oh he oh that was on defender hmm so uh, i left that undefended because i moved no oh, it was undefended already so what can we do he cannot take this he cannot take this pawn he cannot take this one also maybe it's time to exchange no if i put here then this will be exchange you will kill my pawn next step is he is going to kill it who is right now unsupported if i move this uh, bishop then he will kill this uh, knight so let's safeguard the knight first and attack the bishop because he is pointing to my king so i'll I want to king uh, kill this bishop on b6 so anywhere he goes i'll kill him i'll kill the bishop that is for sure 
so I cannot do a discover check because if I do a discover check then I can take this uh, queen but I have no opportunity so he come here that give me a nice outpost now forced to take knight okay now he forced to take it and okay so now he came to uh, take this but I'll block it anyway so enforcing to take the queen now he has to take the king or he is taking the pawn also you can take the pawn is it good to go to okay let me go to b3 is to remove the pin oh that was a blunder i think because now he can take my knight Hmm, that's a problem. So I lost. But no problem. Because uh, now I will enter the seventh rank. Okay, now I have, I am one material down. I mean, I have one less bishop. How can he compensate with that one? So to bring my rook to the seventh rank. By the way, my uh, king is seems to be trapped. No, not really. This is a very dangerous situation. It's look like it is being, being trapped. There is another knight that is causing trouble. Also, my bishop is bad. Okay, obviously, I know that is going to come. So, change. There is an escape route, so I am not worried. So I cannot go to 7th rank because there is a knight over there. Knight on f6. What I have to do is I have to take at least one, one more material. I have to capture or something. Okay, so knight is not there. So are you going to say check this is extremely difficult okay. I'll win a pawn actually so I just win a pawn but uh, I'm worried about his rook which will come to b1 yes that's what you're going to do. But when it rook comes to b1, I will take this uh, bishop on c8. So that is not a problem. But this is a dangerous situation. I don't want to be like. So, how many pawns do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pawns. And he has only 1, 2, 3, 4 pawns. But he has got one extra material, which is one knight. Okay, so now he wants to take my pawn.
people have to know to let, let it go. What I can do is, you cannot take it. If you take it, then I will take this rook. So I'll, I'll cannot come there also because this uh, queen is over watching the uh, b7 square. So I can't do anything about it. Then what can I do? Oh, I have very less time. Uh, I have very less time. I have just one minute left. I used up too much time. Oh yes. Now I can come here. On the b7. So if he takes this uh, pawn then So he is playing the same game. Let me try something different. Oh, he is just wasting time. That is to... Okay, so time go to some other place just wasting time because uh, he is up to time my time is over so I may lose this game because of time I didn't see that I have lost a lot of time ok so I may lose this one oh, he is trying to kill my come here for defense Oh, I have no time left. Anyway, I have, whatever I do will not work. Okay. He is reducing the material because Now it is simplified game. Uh, have advantage of a pass pawn. Uh, I think I lost it because of the time. Okay, black has won and uh, it was a good game but I lost on time. So maybe next time I'll uh, try better and uh, try to win the game. Okay friends, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Keep watching.